Hi Queens, welcome back to my channel. This is BB if you didn't already know. If you are new here, I just want to say welcome. Hey girl, I hope you decide to stay, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, okay friend? Today's video, as you, I'm sure you can tell by the title, is going to be all about my hair journey thus far. Um, I am a little bit past one year growing my hair out. This <laughs> is where we're at. My hair is freshly washed and co-washed and all that. Like I just got out the shower. My hair is wet and got a little bit of conditioner in it. And I'm just going to style it for you all today. Show y'all how to style a little bitty TWA like this. But my fro got a little, you know, a little puff, a little pop to it. So <laughs> I'm just going to style it for y'all and see what you can do because hair this length is very much tricky like it's like dang I'm in that real in between stage like what do I do with it so I'm just going to first of all show y'all a few clips from like you know where my hair has come from in a year and also style it for y'all so while it's still wet let me go ahead and start styling while I'm talking um I use some Miel and Carol's Daughters products in the shower. I'm just going to first shout out a black woman real quick. Shout out a black queen real quick, okay? Um, check out my shirt. It's upsetting. It's got a little oil on it. Because see, I dropped a little oil from my hair. But anyway, it's upsetting me and my homegirls. The justice has not been served for our good sis, Breonna Taylor. Period. Like period like baby to hear that after all this time we waited we waited and waited and waited and we still did not receive justice but I'm, I'm not surprised but I'm hurt okay like I'm just gonna leave it at that for right now but shout out to um Liv Finesse the brand Lil Finesse, I will leave her website and information down below. Um, shout out to you, Essence. Super proud of you and your brand and what you're doing. Super proud of you. Y'all go check out her podcast as well. But I will leave her information down below. But black owned business, black woman, black boss. Anywho, next. I'm just going to begin by applying some conditioners. Like I said, I already have a little bit of conditioner in my hair from my shower. But this is kind of that I washed out somewhat. I still left a little bit in my hair, but I'm going to use some leave-in. Okay, so I'm going in with this Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Conditioner for very dry, curly to coily hair. Um important intense moisture system like it smells amazing it's a cocoa flavor and it smells like black people um it smells amazing <laughs> so i'm going to apply this uh, a generous amount just to start off with like i'll probably end up adding some more actually but i'm gonna take it slow to start off with because i am going to be using some other products as well and so that little bit just you know really took me through the front of my hair but yeah, so if you are not new here, then you know, like, I've done the blonde, I've done the big fro, I've done um, protective styles, I have done, I mean, black fade, like a fade, like a boy's, I mean, it's just, I, I do it all with my hair, I'm not afraid to try new things with my hair, because it's just hair, like, you cut it off, it'll grow back, like, I've been bald headed, like, it'll grow back, <laughs> I'm also going to go in with this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff also smells amazing. Now that I have the conditioner all up and through my hair, like, let's get a little texture shot, okay? It's the texture for me. Like, what would we call this? Like, is this, an, okay, y'all see this? Like, this is not gray hair. Um, this is like my blonde all the way grown out like I did have blonde so that's just blonde dusted ends really I need to trim those off but that's not gray hair but I would say I have like four B to four C hair I guess I really don't know um I would say maybe four B slash four C I would think but anyway very much detangled, very much moisturized, and I'm going to do like finger coils today, but not super time-consuming detailed finger coils because those take three million years to do, and I am working on a time frame because I have a one-year-old. <laughs> Y'all know that if you, you know, are a returning subscriber, so I got to get this done quickly while my son is occupied and with his TT. So... <laughs> 
I'm going to get this done quickly. So I'm going to do super quick finger coils. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed with my hair growth. Like I started from a fade. Like after I had my son, I had, um, I still had some blonde in my hair and it was very much damaged because you know, if anybody, if you have had short blonde hair before, you know that like re your roots and everything really kills your hair. So my hair was very much damaged. And so I cut all the blonde damaged ends off and just gave myself like a buzz cut, <laughs> like a fade, and um, just grew it out from there. I did do blonde again though, but then just kept growing it out. So, here's where I'm at. I am right here. Almost to the tip of my nose. And this has been a little over a year. Um, when I gave myself that buzz cut, it was September of 2019. So here we are towards the middle of October. So um, just a little over a year, a couple weeks over a year. So this is my one year mark. I think my growth has really come a nice way. And I was very shocked because as soon as my hair got long enough to put braids in it, like baby, you best believe I was braiding it up. Like I got braids. Um, and then how many times did I get braids? Oh, I got braids twice. So when my hair was long enough, like, um, I got box braids as soon as I was able and then I'm gonna go with this instead because that pick is broken but um, I got box braids as soon as I was able and then I ended up later getting like super long feed ins and I love those like I love the both styles and now next on my radar for braids is knotless braids um, I really would like to try knotless braids. So now that that conditioner is completely like, you know, combed through my hair, brushed through my hair, evenly distributed, I am going to add some more. I'm going to add some more product. Um, I'm going to add this Miel, um Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. Um, enhances curls with deep definition for thick curly type 4 hair. This product is super kind of like gummy. Um like a super oh, very much like a custard see I'm dropping stuff on my new shirt you know scoop that back up baby this product was not cheap well hair products are just not cheap in general like, I'm going to now begin to coil just certain pieces of my hair so like I said I'm not doing super defined coils like taking it like this small of a piece and coiling it what I'm more so going to do is like just kind of go through my fro with a wide tooth comb and then whatever pieces of my hair are not like already kind of like defined that's what I'm going to coil so hope that made sense so what I'm going to do is pick up random pieces of my fro so like this big just kind of chunky end I'm just going to coil that like does that make sense like I'm just picking up super random pieces of my fro and coiling it and as soon as we get like you know quite a few in there we'll be able to see where we need to add more so like it looks stupid right now but I'm gonna keep going <laughs> and it'll make sense okay so I'm picking up super jumbo size pieces of hair And coiling it so it's gonna be jumbo coils super quick super easy not even coiling all the way to the root like whatsoever just just enough to give me a curl once my hair dries because I'm not I don't have a wash and go texture this is as close to a wash and go as I get um, so I have to give myself a little something like I have to give my hair a little direction if that makes sense like <laughs> by doing this when my hair dries I'll still have a curl on the ends of my hair like I don't mind my roots being um, fluffy and puffy because I'm just gonna pick my roots anyway but I need my curls to have a little direction a little a little supervision okay if you will <laughs> so I'm picking up super random super jumbo pieces and just coiling at the end like I said this is like my one year 
um, mark. And y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know that I love like the short blonde hair on me. So I'm really trying to stay committed to growing my hair. Like it's, it gets tough when you get to this stage. <laughs> Like, because I just feel like my fro is just super little and boring looking. Like, <laughs> I can't do much with it. It's in a really in-between stage. I can't quite do a pop and twist out. I'm really in limbo here. So, I think I'm going to add some color. So, I need y'all to comment below what color y'all think I should do. And just for reference, like, I'm not afraid of color. Like, I've really been considering doing, like, purple into magenta like kind of like an ombre i know i don't have much hair to ombre like my hair is super short but um i've been considering that like leaving my roots black and then doing like deep purple at about maybe that much of my hair and then the tips being like a bright kind of like magenta pink <laughs> So y'all let me know what y'all think of that or leave any other suggestions down below. It's got to be something, um, you know, interesting. Leave comments and suggestions below on what hair color I should do, what would be cute on this little baby fro. <laughs> so once again, just picking up super jumbo pieces and coiling them. Um, as I get to the fronts, I am going to be a little bit more strategic with how I'm doing the coils just so like you know the front of your hair is together <laughs> like I feel like up through the middle and then like the back you can be a little less strategic but I feel like the front needs to be on point because that's what people see like that's what you see when you look in the mirror I'm gonna shut up and just keep working <laughs> so this video is not three million years long okay y'all so this is what I got right now the results as of now so just you can see the little stretch okay um I know I look like a little baby a little girl right now but um once this dries I'm then going to pick my roots and make it fluffy and a little more voluminous a little more grown woman okay um uh, if y'all really know me like really really know me then my Instagram name used to be negro lady <laughs> hilarious but anyway um i'm gonna make it a little more grown woman once it dries okay oh let me just shake out the back right quick come on shake oh, shake ah, ah, ah. okay okay let me know what color i should do y'all leave it in the comments below like i really I'm getting tired of looking at this little black little fro, okay? It's very much little girl, very much serving me second grade, okay? I'm going to do my makeup off camera for another video. Um, so, while I'm doing my makeup, this is going to be air drying. And then I'm going to also probably have to put the blow dryer to it to really get it dry. And then I'll show y'all the finished results. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, now that my hair is not all the way dry i am gonna put the blow dry to it a little bit on medium heat to just give it a little bit extra push to get it dry 
it needs a little push. So I really just need my roots to dry um, because I'm going to leave the ends cool together. But I need my roots to dry so I can pick them out a little bit. Um, really just through this center area. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Um, not picking all the way to the root. I'm leaving my roots alone. Um, trying not to interrupt that coil. So I'm going to pull the ends first and then pick. leave my edges alone because I do want to kind of give it a tapered look that's as close as I can get um, without cutting my hair <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of leave that alone um, and kind of let that fall how it will just really trying to create that tapered effect by pulling a few pieces behind my ears to give it a shape see how that gave it an illusion <laughs> But overall, this is the completed look. Um, I will be posting, of course, images on Instagram once I, you know, get my edges a little slick down because I gotta find that edge control. But what do y'all think? Let me turn around so y'all can see. y'all enjoyed this look i hope you love the hair but be sure to um follow me on instagram and <laughs> give me a 6k so your girl is super close to 6,000 subscribers and when i reach 6,000 subscribers and 4,000 followers on instagram i'm doing a huge giveaway i have been collecting different items um over the course of time that I would want to include in a giveaway once I reach this point. So it's going to be some good items. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet. But just make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. So you can be in the running. So we can hurry up and get me there. So I can go ahead and release the details for the giveaway. With that being said, I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little hair information. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that, all of that. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Peace, as she said. <laughs>